loves pickles and onion rings. That sounds like a um, like an English grammar assignment, you know, something in uh, elements of style, talking about conjunctions. Maya loves pickles and onion rings, right? No, I don't know. <laughs> but it says you do right there, though. Is your brother is your brother teasing you about your choices of food? <laughs> All right, guys. So um, I have a couple of announcements. Yeah, one is about Game Jam 2021. And the other is about Minecraft speedrun. So, um, first, what has happened is a really great thing, but it's going to push back our plans one week. And that is uh, our junior high science teacher, Pete. He, he and his wife have had a baby, which is awesome. And Pete is going to get to spend six weeks at home uh just hanging out with the new baby and family so that's great congratulations to him uh and that also means that i get to be the junior high science teacher for those six weeks so um that means that some of my schedule this week is disrupted because i need to teach those junior high classes <clears throat> what does that mean i will still be on every day one o'clock um but it means that we can't do the extra long sessions that we had originally planned, okay? So, uh, but we can do them next week. It's just this week, that's the problem. So um, tomorrow we can't do the Game Jam 2021. Game Jam 2021. <laughs> but we will, we will do it um, we will we will do it uh, next week. We will we will get some Jamie. Well, we'll figure it out. Maybe we'll we'll like stretch it over this whole week or something like that. Um, and the Minecraft speedrun we can't do on Friday because we have junior high student led conferences. So that means uh, I'm going to be teaching all day Friday, so I can't do it. But definitely the next Friday after that. Definitely the next. We will do um, <clears throat> Minecraft speedrun, okay? I know I'm very sad too, um, but we will we will definitely figure it out. Uh, we'll figure out either a new format or we will have it next week or something. We'll definitely do something. And today I'm actually going to start on uh, the Game Jam 2021. Uh, game that I was going to work on. So that's fun. We get to start with that, right? But otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow for Pirate Science and let's make it. This this week's make it, man. It's going to be intense. We have all those lights to, to wire up. So let's get going with today's... Um, Let's get going with today's thing. So yes, okay, this was up for me to remember to talk to you about Game Jam 2021, but I already remembered all by myself. So <clears throat> that's good. All right, um, let's go to code. Mm, you know, I just realized that I would really like to make a game <clears throat> for the Make Code Arcade. We haven't done that in a while. Maybe when Game Jam comes, <coughs> maybe when Game Jam comes, we will do a Make Code. Okay. Okay. So um, let's start with some scratch. So the what I wanted to do is I wanted to make a tower defense game. I don't know if you've ever seen like a tower defense game. I bet you. Here, let's go see. Let's see if there is a good. Um, can we go to scratch? Here we go. Let's see. Tower defense. Let's go take a look. Uh, um, let's just try the very first one.
Got some mucho annoying music. Uh oh. Some towers down. So see, the way it works is that these guys come around and then they follow the path and your guys have to like defeat them. See? And every time and and you want to make sure they don't get to the end. That's how a tower defense game works. So, I'm thinking that I would like to code something like that. I think it's going to be pretty hard. And the whole point of this is that I want to learn all these different skills. <clears throat> so, um immediately just like looking at that, I'm going to have to figure out like how do uh, we create multiple instances of the sprites. In, in Scratch, they're called clones, but I don't work with clones a lot. So I want to make sure that I can understand how that works. And then also assigning a variable to the clone. That will be, you know, like keep track of how much life it has and things like that. So that is going to be a challenge. So today we're just going to do some warm-up work. We're not even going to like start building our game. Um, we just want like our cat <clears throat> to like I don't know. We'll just let's just what, let's just have the cat walk across the screen and see if we can have multiple instances of the cat walking across this across the screen. Okay, so let's start with that. So let's start with just like um, uh, when space key pressed, okay? So we'll just do this fire. We'll fire it every time the space key is pressed. <clears throat> we can change this when to whenever we want to do. Maya says, I want to do that. Hmm, okay. You know what, Maya? Let's, because, <clears throat> let's, let's, let's not do cat. Let's, let's do something for Maya here. Something we know she loves. Let's go. Let's let's and instead of a cat, we'll go. We'll uh, let's get a, kind of like a brown here, and <clears throat> let's do a, like a black outline. Yeah. There we go. So Maya, this is for you. We know you love. We know you love these things. Let's see. So we'll. There we go. Right. Good. And then we'll do another one. And the fill needs to be white. So it's like empty. Oh, but we want the fill to actually be, yeah, we want it to be, hmm, how are we gonna do this? How do we make, how do we fill? Maybe what we can do is convert to bitmap. Hmm, okay. Let's see. Get the eraser. Okay. Oh my goodness, my pug. She hears some barking outside. There we go. Maya, what is this? It's an onion ring. We know you love onion rings, so I thought today we would have a nice onion ring for you, okay? There's no need to thank me. This is what I do for all of my students who I love. Okay. <clears throat> it's a nice onion ring, right? Looking good. Maybe a little too big, so let's select all and shrink it down a little bit. There we go, onion ring. Mmm. What do you what do you think, Maya? Does that look tasty? Does that look good? Okay. I'm glad I'm glad you're a fan of onion rings. <laughs> okay. We got some onion rings here. And what we want to do is we'll do when, spec when space key pressed, 
um, we'll just like have it glide to the other side of the screen. Okay, so glide to, so here it is, so y1, we'll say it to y0, and we'll do 190. Okay, and we'll do, and then we will say go to here, back to the beginning, minus 190. Okay, so let's press space bar. There we go. So we got this <clears throat> traveling across the screen. Now let's do something where, um, let's hide it. So we'll do when green flag clicked, hide, and then we'll show it when we press the space bar and then we'll hide it again when it disappears. Okay, so now it should disappear. Now when we press space bar, there it goes. So now it's only showing when we do this. Okay, <clears throat> now what we wanna do is we wanna be able to, so we wanna be able to do this so that it repeats many times. So if I keep pressing space bar, see how it's only the one going? We wanna use clones to create a bunch of them, right? Captain Richard, wow. What's wrong, Kaylin? <laughs> What's wrong? Okay. So um, we have here. Let's let's figure out what the clones thing is here. Okay. So we got a when I start as a clone, <clears throat> and here is create a clone of myself. So let's move all these blocks down to when I start as a clone. So instead of when space key pressed, start as a clone. Now when we press space bar, it'll create a clone and then it will do everything that we just did. So let's see if that works. Okay, so it still works. Now let's see if we press it multiple times if it does multiple clones. There we go. Oh, hmm. So it worked until... Oh, okay, interesting. Okay, so I think, hmm, okay, so let's see. <clears throat> let's try to clean this up a little bit, get this to work. I think what's happening is that the the sprite, so I'm, see I'm pressing space and it's not working anymore. It seems like it only works once when it gets to the end, and then that's it. So let's clean this up. I think what's happening is <clears throat> we can't have it move also and create clones also. Good joke. Ah, yes, good joke. <laughs> My new YouTube channel, Minecraft theme. Oh, a Minecraft YouTube channel, okay. Okay, let's figure this out. Let's do some different thing here. We, we want it to not go. We only want the clones to move. So let's just grab this go to and let's put it here. And instead of, and now let's see, let's try that. When I start as clone, show glide and hide. All right, here we go. Start, there we go. Okay, so what's happening is, is making a whole bunch of, okay, I think maybe what the problem is, is that we need to destroy the clones. Yes, okay, so here we go. Here's a delete this clone. So right now, I think we can, we've hit a limit of how many clones we can have, and that's why they're not showing up. So if we delete them when they get to the end of the, we don't even need the hide anymore, we're just, when we get to the end of the glide and deletes, we should be okay. So let's give it a shot. Okay, it's still creating what is going on? So when I press space again, it creates a, you can see, so that's one, right? As it travels, if I press space again, then it creates a clone from every single one. 
<laughs> we don't want it to create a clone. Well, look how many onion rings there are here. Look at that. So many onion rings. It creates a clone from the clone. Hmm. Oh, create a clone of myself. Hmm, okay, that doesn't, I don't know where. Hmm. How do we fix that? So see, we press it once, cool, clone, right? And it gets deleted. But if we press it again while that onion ring is traveling, boom, it creates a clone from where it started and where it is, where it currently is. So isn't that silly? How do we stop that from happening? When I start as a clone, show and glide. That's good. Hmm. You know what? Let's okay. Let's. So this is gonna. We're gonna call this tower defense testing. Now, so let's save this. Oh, not launch zoom. Oh no! Oh no! Did I lose it? I clicked the wrong thing. Let's see if we have it still. No. Is this it? Oh, whew. here it is. Okay. Okay, all that didn't get saved was our name. So tower defense testing, save. I clicked the zoom link up there. Okay, so here we are. Tower defense testing. Um, I was gonna say, let's go take a look at some other times I did cloning. So let's go to look at my finished apps and games. And I'm gonna look at, so I need to figure out how this happens so that I'm not creating more code every time. Onion rings are okay. See, Bia thinks that onion rings are good. Oh, Bree apparently thinks onion rings are good too. Okay, let's take a look at space battle here. And in space battle, you see these stars that are flying by? These are clones, I'm pretty sure. Oh, he, she hears a dog, the neighbor dog is barking, so she wants to bark too. Um, okay, so let's see. Let's take a look inside and let's see how these stars are. So here is Backstar, okay, holy cow. So we got all these, when I start a clone, go to back layer, go to a random position, set the speed, set the size, point in a direction, show and then repeat until if touching edge. Okay, no, that's if there is, yeah, repeat until move, size divided by 15 steps. If warp drive stamp, delete this cone. So when, why isn't it? Okay, so because for here, When I start, what is triggering the start a clone? Here it is. Forever, pick a random number one to three. If one, then create a clone of myself. Okay, so the deal is, is that I start by telling the clone to go to a particular area. So maybe that is how it will work. 
Okay, see, so I'm trying to learn from previous things that I did. Hello, Ryer, how's it going, sir? So, I don't, Ryer, I don't know if you heard, but we have to change, uh, we have to change our game jam. We're gonna have to change our game jam. I think maybe what we'll do is we will do game jam. We'll start game jam tomorrow. Instead of doing it all day, what we'll do is we'll do it like all week. Oh, but then I wanna, oh, there's so many things to do. I think we're just gonna have to push it, push it off a little bit. Because of the junior high schedule. And Mr. Ryer, I mean, oh no, Ryer, you're in sixth grade, right? Okay, let's go back to tower defense. So, let's grab a copy of this and put it here. Okay, spacebar. There we go. That's all we needed to do to fix it. Now it starts the clone Now it starts to clone from the beginning. There we go. See, we did it. Okay, so now, let's do this instead of when spacebar, let's just do it like every random amount of seconds, okay? So we'll do, when green flag clicked, we will do a forever loop. And in the forever loop, we will put, we will say, so if we do this, we're just gonna get a whole bunch of clones. <laughs> Infinity clones, that's one every thousand seconds. So let's do wait one second. There we go. And we can speed this up or slow it down. We can do 0.5, we'll get twice as many. Okay. And let's make the glide a little slower. Let's do two. There they go. Okay, look at, look at all those delicious onion rings. Mm, so tasty. Okay, now what we wanna do is we want to be able to destroy a particular onion ring if it is touched. So let's make a new sprite. Let's paint a new sprite. And here we go. What should this one be? Hmm. Let's make a little bit of an oval like this. And then we will warp the oval. There we go. Oh, didn't mean to grab that. Let's undo that. Okay, can we? Ah, I'm messing it up. Okay. There we go. Put this in the middle. Look at that. What is that? That is my second favorite kind of food. Second favorite kind of food. It's a pickle. Right? It's a pickle. Okay, let's do the coding for the pickle. So, we want to do when green flag clicked, go to where you are, which is right here. We'll just say zero, okay? So now it's right in the middle. 
And then we'll do one space bar. We're going to say, um, we want to say, ch -ch -ch -ch, repeat until, repeat until touching, touching edge or so touching an edge or touching touching the sprite one so let's rename sprite one here we'll call this onion ring and this one will be called pickle all right <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're a fan. Okay. When spacebar key pressed, repeat until. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're just going to say move 10 steps. And we want to face it this way. And we don't want it to change direction. Okay. Here we go. So now when we press spacebar, there goes our pickle. Okay, and it got stopped. And what we want to do is we will we want it to go back to the beginning. So here we go. There we go. Cool, huh? Now if we restart, I bet we can get it past the onion real quick. There we go. See. All right. Let's make it now so that our onion rings don't come as regularly. Let's let's move them. Let's move them up a little bit. Let's do like Y 20 and we don't want it to do forever. So what we want to do is I'm going to make a little loop which checks for the, um, uh, which checks for, it needs to be more than that. Let's do like 80, 80. 80. Okay, there we go. Um, we want to do a little loop to make a little bit more random. So let's do, we want to make a variable here. Wait, is that how we do it? Random number? Oh, okay, here we go. So we grab an if, let's grab if. We'll put all these inside the if. Um, if, and we'll grab an equals. If, pick a number between, pick a random number between one and three. And if that random number is one, <laughs> Then do this. Hmm. Okay, too small. Let's do, okay, so let's change it to one. If random number is one and 50. There we go, a little more variance, right? Let's do, oh yeah, okay, there we go. See, we're getting some randomness going on here. So what it's doing is it's like rolling a 50-sided dice and it only sends it out if it rolls a one. And the reason this is still happening so fast is because we're rolling that 50-sided 50, 50 dice once uh, we're rolling it a thousand times per second. It's sad. No, no, we're not teasing you. We're sharing your favorite foods. There we go. See, so now we shoot our pickle, and if we hit an onion ring, it goes all the way to the other side. And if we hit the onion ring, then it gets gets hit. And we can change the number of onion rings by changing this number right here. If we want more onion rings, we can like lower this number to say like 20. And now see, we get more onion rings because now we're only rolling a 20-sided dice instead of a 50-sided dice, okay? Okay, 
Now what we want to do is we want to be able to see if we can um, delete a clone if it gets hit by the pickle. Okay, so let's go to onion. We're at onion ring already. And what we want to do inside this forever loop, we want to test. Wait, is it as a pickle? Okay, let's do it inside this when I start as a clone. So forever. Oh, I can't put the forever. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. I can't put the forever down there. Okay, maybe it doesn't have to. We'll see what happens if I do it. Well, okay, let's see. So if if touching pickle this is what we want. We want to do if touching pickle delete this clone. Oh, okay. So we can do if touching pickle, pickle delete this clone. And then at the end, we can also do delete this clone. There we go. We did it. Right? So now it'll delete when it gets to the end. Cool. But if we also hit it with a pickle, oh, see, it didn't delete. Oh, we need a, oh, because we need a forever around it. Because we need a forever around it, but we can't get the forever around it. Yeah. It's not highlighting. Hmm. How do we get that going on? How do we get this if touching pickle to work? Let's try putting it inside this forever loop here. It says delete this clone. I don't know if it'll work, but let's find out. I missed. No, it doesn't work. Man. Oh, it's not your favorite food. What? Well, maybe if you look at onion rings and pickles, you'll see that they're not so bad. Okay, so we can't seem to get, we can't figure out how to get this to work here. If touching pickle, delete this clone. I wonder if I put it under, I mean, this is bad coding, but let's see if I make it its own loopy here. Okay, let's see. Nope. Still didn't do it. If touching pickle, delete this clone. Yeah, I don't know. What if I did um, like hide? Would that work? Yeah, no, it still doesn't work. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> let's let's see. 
scratch. We're going to search. Um, delete clone on touch touching. Deleting two clones when they touch. Here we go. Okay, let's see. Clones are not often meant to last until the green flag or stop signs are pressed. This block will delete it. Delete the bullet after being shot. Okay, create a clone bullet. When I start a clone, point towards the mouse pointer, repeat until touching edge or touching target. Move three steps, delete this clone. Okay, we're there. We got that. Removing sprites that have been found in a hide and seek game. Set sprites to find 10. Okay, repeat sprites to find create clone. Okay, got it. When this sprite is clicked, you got me. Change sprites to find to minus one, delete this clone. Okay, that doesn't help though. Doesn't help. Maybe this will say. This person. The aliens are cloned and the bullets are cloned. When a bullet hits an alien, how do we make sure that both get deleted? This is exactly the question that we want to answer. We got 14 people with us today, so who knows? Oh, look at this guy's avatar. That's pretty cool, huh? This is exactly the question we want. He says, aliens are clones and bullets are clones. When a bullet hits an alien, how do we make sure they both get deleted? That's the same thing we're dealing with, except for us, it's... We got onion rings are cloned, pickles are cloned. When they touch, we want to make sure they both get deleted. Okay, when I started a clone, wait until touching bullet. Change score or whatever, delete this clone. When I start as a clone, wait until touching alien. Wait until not touching alien, delete this clone. What? No. Thanks for your response. Although I must say, I don't think it works. Yeah, I don't think it works either. The trouble is that one clone, say the alien, detects as touching the bullet and deletes itself. The bullet now does not detect as touching the alien since the alien is already gone. So it doesn't delete itself. I appreciate, oh, so that's what's going on, guys. What's happening is, is that the pickle is detecting that it touches the onion ring so it goes back so let's we can test that we can test that let's go here and let's just say let's get rid of the or so now it's only going to go back when it touches the thing nope pickle the onion ring still doesn't get deleted huh well let's read on when i start as a clone forever move steps if touching alien delete this clone Along with the clone. Interesting. How about putting a short wait between the clones so they don't delete each other in a collision? When I start the clone, wait until touching sprite one. Delete this clone. When I start the clone, hmm. That's it. Thanks. Hit alien, wait, delete this clone. When I receive hit alien, if touching bullet, delete this clone. Oh, okay. So let's, let's, let's see. I think that has given me an idea. So let's do repeat until touching Okay, so hold on, I'm gonna get this. This will be the last thing we do today. How you doing, B? How you doing, Biza? You doing okay? Did you all figure out what you were going to do for Game Jam 2021? I was getting my coat on. Oh. 
Oh yeah, try if touching color. Yeah, I that does work. I try to avoid if touching color because it is, um, you never know when you're going to use a different color, you know, or the same color by accident. It's better to do it when touching the sprite. Okay. Move 10 steps. Okay, so we can add, let's try adding a if touching onion ring. Uh, let's send out a broadcast now. Um, broadcast message and wait. Let's just do broadcast message. And this message will be called hit. We'll just call it hit. Okay. Now over here, what we can do is we can say, oh, when I receive hit, delete this clone. Let's see if that works. Well, I mean, that works, except now it is deleting all of the clones. <laughs> oh my goodness. Crazy. Hmm. Well, we're on our way. You can see how hard it is like when you're doing something new. Um, I never want you to feel when you're coding, I never want you to feel like um, I need to be able to, like I never want you to be angry when you don't know how to do it. I hope you watched me struggle for about 45 minutes here and not knowing how to do something. I had to, when I when I didn't know, I, I searched, I looked at previous work I did. Uh, we, you know, we tried to figure it out. So not knowing is totally acceptable, all right? And in fact, it's more than just totally acceptable. To be a great coder is to understand that you're, you don't know and how do you find out the answer. You try stuff, you, you guess, you just drop some blocks in there, see if it works, see what changes, Google it, try to get an answer, look at pre other work. You know, one thing we can do that we didn't do, let's do one more thing before I leave. One thing that we did, let's save this, now let's go to Scratch. Let's go to Tower Defense. And let's look at that game one more time, this super loud, annoying game. And let's take a look inside. Oh my goodness, okay. I, I mean, sh these guys do it right. So theoretically, <laughs> theoretically they got it working here. So what are some of the sprites Let's check out the costumes here. Oh my goodness, look at all these things. We wanna look for like the ninja star. So that's towers. Here they are, okay. So when I receive start, pen up, set money, yeah, erase all, okay, okay. When I start as a clone, show, wait zero seconds, delete this clone. Render your hit points. Define, is enemy touching any bullets? Oh my goodness. Inside of this, we're looking for just like, render bullets. Here we are, set scroll to one. 
Repeat until scroll number equals length of bullet type. It's greater than the length of bullet type. Wow. Point in direction. Okay, so you can see how complicated a very good game like this is. Yeah, so it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. You know, we're on our way. I mean, we probably won't do something as complicated as that, but we want to just, like, you know, be able to get the mechanics down, right? Yeah, you can see Bees is like, hmm, complicated. Oh, Aiden was with us momentarily. Hello and bye. Okay, guys, it's been super fun. I will check you out, check you tomorrow. Maybe we will, can, maybe we, this will be the week of coding. We're gonna be doing a lot more coding. Unfortunately, I won't really have time to do a lot of super cool piratey science for the next six weeks because it requires the most setup. And time is what I do not have right now um, because uh, I have four of the classes now to make sure I get it set up. So we're going to do our best. But I'll see you tomorrow at 1 o'clock. We'll figure it out, okay? Take care, guys.